my lovely readers. Welcome to Living the Tales with me, Priyanka. Thank you so much for joining me in my story time. Are you ready for today's story? Imagine yourself lying in bed on Christmas Eve night and being surprised by the visit of Santa Claus in your neighborhood. But wait, there is someone else out there. Let's find out in this fantastic tale set in a rhyme as we read together A Sci-Fi Christmas written by Anthony Hislop. If you have a copy, please go get it so you can read along with me. A Sci-Fi Christmas written by Anthony Hislop, illustrated by Dirju Vega. It's Christmas Eve night and I begin to dream. A pretty simple Christmas, nothing too extreme. A sparkling red sleigh illuminating the night. Santa holding the reins as he readies his flight. Reindeer snuffing and snorting ready to go. Hooves shifting and sliding in the snow. Santa enjoying his midnight ride, delivering toys to thoughts worldwide. I'm in my PJs lying in bed, thinking about the gifts ahead. Gazing out at Christmas lights and displays, I spy with my eyes some magical arrays. Then up above, the moonlit night, I suddenly see a streak of red light. I ran to the window, wondering what it could be. Maybe Santa is coming down my chimney. Then in an instant, there is a dazzling sight. Great, flashing waves of blinding, bright light. Is that a spacecraft there on my lawn? The next thing I know, it's suddenly gone. I blink once, then blink twice. Could it have been mom's chili with spice? Did the heat from that chili go to my head? Making me dream weird things in my bed? No, I thought that was totally real. I can't explain it with a spicy meal. With my head pressed against the window pane, I glimpsed Santa riding down the lane, my mouth gapping in delight, while he embarks on his mission that night. He jumps down from its sleigh onto each roof, at every quick landing of a reindeer's hoof. The spacecraft is back at the exact same spot, awaiting Santa's gift for their teeny tot. Santa stops his deliveries and looks on down, spying the spacecraft on the ground. He leaps to his sleigh and flies to my yard, carrying a box labeled heavy and hard. The box he holds is packed with stuff. It isn't light or full of fluff. On top is an oddly shaped metal part. I wonder if it's to make cool space art? The entrance of the craft swings open wide and makes old Saint Nick move to the side. Santa looks both up and down, but there's no chimney to be found. A strange being greets him at the door, gazing at Santa and pointing to the floor. There a mat reads, you're welcome here. Santa smiles and proceeds without fear. This isn't a dream. I know that it's true. Santa visits aliens too. I'm so shocked. What can I say? You don't get to see this every day. After disappearing for a minute or two, the jolly old man comes back into view. In his hands is something furry and round. A creature that would astonish and is towned. It has two eyes and hands that clap. And it starts at the sound of a finger snap. 
It squeaks and squawks and gives such a clatter that it splits into two and they begin to scatter. After two run as quickly as they divide, frolicking round the entrance until they collide. The stranger picks them up and squeezes them together, becoming one again, then he ties it with a tether. The aliens hands the fur ball to Saint Nick, as Santa pulls out a long peppermint stick. He looks down and he nods with a big doody grin. The fur ball takes the treat and plants a kiss on his chin. Then clasping his hands and wrinkling his nose, Santa gives a chuckle and his famous ho ho ho's. He steps off the craft and into the snow. The huge door slams shut and begins to glow. And in quite an unearthly, technicolor way, puts on the most beautiful, stunning display. Then Santa's elf gives a loud whistle, startling the old man like he sat on a thistle. He walks quickly back to his sleigh that's sitting at the end of our driveway. Santa looks at me with a twinkle in his eye. He snaps the reins and they begin to fly. Up o'er the trees into the night, across the moon and out of sight, as he reaches supersonic speeds. I know he's done some very good deeds. My eyes watch the spacecraft lift off the ground. It makes a noisy, high-pitched sound. And as it flies off into space, it leaves nothing behind, not even a trace. So then, tiptoeing back to my bed, I stay quite silent, no word could be said. I'm speechless and filled with joy that I count myself one lucky boy. This Christmas, I will always cherish. In my memory, it will never perish. I tell you about the story today. If you don't believe me, what can I say? <laughs>